Imagine living in a home without electricity and sending your kids to schools without electricity. That happens in India right now. Well, today's Big Eye, which we do every day, is a big solution that jumps ahead of the problem a bit. It actually puts electronic notepads in the hands of those kids who don't have electricity. And here to show us how an electronic notepad works without electricity is Krishna Palam. He joins us from Rice University's Baker Institute for Public Policy in Houston. He's the director of the Rice Nanyang Technological University's Institute on Sustainable and Applied Infodynamics. That is a mouthful, but apparently uh, that mouthful uh, has produced uh, electronic computers, tablet computers for these kids in India. I don't even know where to start on this. Tell me about it. First, thanks for inviting me, Ali. Pleasure. Uh, the tablet itself that you're describing tackles two problems that these students are facing. One, what you described, which is lack of electricity, and the other is a real shortage of human teachers. So there are two ideas behind this technology, and as you correctly described, it's uh, an institute that has two legs, one at Rice and the other at NTU in Singapore, where the Rice side and the NTU side are really, in a sense, joined at the hip. Uh, so the idea is that the technology tackles the electricity problem, and there's a particular idea called learning by doing, which helps take care of the shortage of human teachers, where this game, these lessons are actually taught as if you're doing a video game. So that keeps the kids engaged. And then by playing the game, they actually learn, in this case, fourth and fifth grade arithmetic, a math in, uh, in, at a very young age. Tell me a little bit about how these things work. I mean, they, they run off of some power. How, what's the technology here? Uh, good question. So, you see, your laptop, for example, which you charge and plug into your wall socket, it has a battery that's being charged and it stores this energy from the electric socket. Now, it turns out that the lower the consumption, the easier it is, in a sense, to power it. And we are pushing for a target which is so low that you should be able to run off solar cells. So, ba these places have lots and lots of sunlight, so the basic idea is to be able to sit and you hold this pad in your hand like this and because of the sunlight coming in like the calculators we used to have many many years ago right. Right. that's enough to be able to power it huh. okay well that's a great analogy because so that, that's that, the basic that, idea. that explains the whole thing i was able to use a calculator without a battery 15 years ago so good to know that that's how it works uh and i guess that concluded that interview uh i'm uh, ali velshi it's two o'clock on the east i'm here with you for the next hour here's what i've got on the rundown life imitating the movies real life iron men in robotic super suits